So this can just be snapped off like this. This is removed, put it there. This down here is the bleeder valve, I'll show you. This one. So right now I am under the engine bay of my 2013 Toyota Highlander. I have removed the under engine shields. This is the radiator, right end of the radiator. This is the left end of the radiator and I was unable to find the drain cock on the bottom. So I kept looking and finally I found it. It's on the left end there, the white thing, that one, this one. So this is a little strange location. So I have located it. Now the next thing is I have to drain it and replace the fluid. So before draining, open the radiator cap. I am working on a cold engine, so there is no risk here. Otherwise, this can splash. So make sure you are working on a cold engine. So you can access the radiator drain cock from the top. Open it and the radiator will start draining. Make sure you use a catch tray under it to avoid spillage. So I've confirmed that the bleeder valve is 10 mm. Let's crack it open. This is what it looks like. So I'll just put a tubing on it and check what size is it. So I had this uh, plumbing pipe with me and this is the right diameter for it. So this is the total coolant which has been drained. So it is almost two liters. So this is how I have put the tubing in this empty bottle. So if there is any overflow, it comes in here. This will work when the engine is started and it is warmed up. Right now I'm just going to do a cold fill. To avoid spilling, I'm going to use this fan and I'm going to go slow about it. This is a new can of the Toyota Super Long Life Coolant. It is pre-mixed. So it is full now. This is how much it is and here also you can see it is at the same level working as per gravity. There it is connected. So all I need to do is now start the engine, bring it to operating temperature and then fill in if more is required. I think it will take around 10 or 15 minutes before the engine reaches the operating temperature and the thermostat valve which is under there starts opening up and the water circulates then i will start filling in more. when the engine warms up the coolant expands initially and to make sure there was no spillage i removed a small quantity infrequently during the entire warm-up process this will happen till the thermostat valve opens and then water will circulate and it will drop so the temperature is around 114 degree F. Air is coming out of the system. The thermostat valve has opened and the level in the radiator has dropped. So now I'm adding more coolant. So I have turned on the heater on maximum heat to make sure it circulates everything. Since no air bubbles are coming from the bleeder tubing, so it means the bleeding is complete and I'll turn off the engine now.
Now I just have to close that. For the reservoir tank, I'm just using this turkey baster to drain it. And the reason is I don't want to remove the bolts and then remove it. So now the job is done. I'll just do a test drive. And after which, the, once the engine cools down, I'm sure it is going to suck some more water in from the bottle. So make sure you uh, keep an eye on this bottle for one or two days. And after every drive, once the engine is cold, add coolant if required. Thanks for watching.